highlight. The highlight of the day for me was when we went on the streets to talk to people, and a group of us went into this lady's house and we prayed for her. Javon was praying for her. It was awesome. So good. She she That's knew so that um, she needed to be reconnected with somebody, and mm. she thought it was a family member. And we found out that she told us it was her son, mm. and that he's mm. far away, and she's trying to get back with him. And she doesn't she can't because she doesn't have enough money to go like to go be with him. So that was very interesting to see Javon pray for her and then find out the real story. And so we all it was nice. We all got to pray for her and. Chase did the introduction. That was the first. What up, Chase? Chase? The invitation, and that was awesome. Yes. So we invited her to the meeting that we had, and she came. And then, of course, all the people. That was awesome too. So like a hundred people at our meeting, and yes, I think that was yes. the highlight of the day to see that story. That's awesome. Awesome. Right, awesome. Next, next. Cece. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Okay, this is real cool. So after we gave our testimonies, which was awesome, um, we got to pray with people. And I went and like this one, this mama was like volunteering me to pray for her daughter. And so I went and like, you know, just asked if I could pray for her. And she was like, kind of like had her eyes open the whole time. was like looking around and was kind of like embarrassed that I was like praying for her. Um, but I did. And, um, and then like I, I looked to her mom after I finished praying and and by the way, it was, like, really cool because, like, you know, words come out of nowhere and you're, like, don't know where that came from. Um, but anyway, so I turned to my mom, her mom, and I'm, like, thank you so much for letting me pray for uh, pray for her. And um, she's, like, no, 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 thank you. And I was, like, who's your, who's the baby? I was, like, is this your daughter, too, or your son? And, and she was, like, no, this is my daughter's son. And this girl is, like, she's got to be, like, in early teens, like, probably 14. Um mm. And she has this little boy who's like three months old, and so like I got to pray for the for the little boy, and and um, I don't know, that was just like crazy for me, like to to experience like the three generations together, and, and praying for all three of them, and and like and then she was I was and I asked the, the daughter how she felt about being mom, and she was like it's, it's the most amazing thing ever, and, and then the mom like blessed me, and she was like one day you're gonna have children. And, Oh, like just started blessing me I was like what no. and that actually meant a lot to me because I've like dealt with like fears of like not having kids after like screwing up in certain areas and so like that was just the coolest thing um but yeah that was a big highlight Woo. yeah that's awesome right. um so the highlight of my day um was seeing the look on the church's face the, the church family's face um, just how shocked and appreciative they were. It just made me think, like, wow, like, God used me to answer their prayers. So, like, that's just something so different for me. I never thought, like, I don't know. I never thought of the the mix of using somebody to answer somebody else's prayers. And um, it just moved my heart so much because just how appreciative they were. I just was like, wow, like, I'm just so happy to be a part of this. And I'm just so happy to see their faces and how... I don't know, I just feel like their faith has been increased um, because of our help and God using us. So that was pretty awesome. Amen. Amen. Okay, well my favorite part of, um, of today was actually hearing the, our team testimonies because all the testimonies were from our team. And it was really cool to hear all of these people that I know hearing their story, you know, for the first time. And um, everyone's so eloquent. Everyone is so, I don't know, just so amazing. And I feel just, like, privileged and just honored to be here, you know, among such awesome people. And so it was just really cool to get to hear their story and just, like, and hear how God has moved. Because every time a testimony is told, you know, we're reminded of his faithfulness. Yeah. You know, like, look where God brought me out of. And it's such a, an amazing um, invitation to them. Like, if God can save me, you know, he can save you. And so it was just amazing because their testimonies opened the floor to the salvation of so many people today. Awesome. So that's it. That's Charles, I see you. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, John. Well, um, yes, indeed. Well, we were going, like, speaking to the crowd. I mean, the neighborhood. We, me and Chase, me Chase and Javon ran into this little kid. His name was David. And he's David. Yeah. Oh. And, uh, Prayed over. I don't know something about him that was like attracted. Like it drew me to him. And Chase, me and Chase prayed over him. That was a, a special thing. I gave him the bracelet. Uh, Rochelle gave us the gift out. He also, they 
I guess after, like, it was really cool because at one point, like, I'm sitting, sitting in a group after, like, we dismissed, like, the, from the preaching group, and I'm praying for this one woman, there's a huge group of us, and she just gets, like, filled with, like, the Holy Spirit, and, like, nearly, like, falls over, and, like, face is twitching, eyes are freaking out, it was really, it was really cool, it was kind of scary, but it was really, really cool at the same time, because, I mean, it was the Holy Spirit, so it's not like it was bad, but, um, she wanted to be, she was, like, paralyzed, or had been paralyzed, and I guess was coming out of it, or something like that, oh, yeah. and the only thing that was wrong with her at this point was that, like, she couldn't talk, her jaw was, like, not, it wouldn't line up right, and so she couldn't move her mouth to speak. And so after we prayed for her, she's just talking to us, and it's like, what? we're like, how, like, how does it, like, what was wrong with you, actually? Like, what could you not do? And she's telling us, you know, I couldn't speak, and we're like, well, how is it now? And she's like, it's gone. Like, I'm, wow. I'm healed. Wow. Whoa. It was awesome. And then also, um, afterwards, just getting to pray, like, after that, um, the group had kind of broken up, and there was, there had been a lady that I had seen, um, from kind of across the circle, that, like, had her hand twisted and, like, cramped looking, and she'd been, found out she had been that way since birth, and she had left. Well, after this woman gets healed, they're like, oh my gosh, go get her. And so they bring her back, and Javon was there, Javon prayed for her, um, and we were all just praying for her, and it was really cool to see her arm go from kind of, like, cramped, like, she didn't get complete healing, but at one point she just goes like that, and just stretches her elbow out, yeah, and her fingers relax, the only thing that was left was, like, her hand was still kind of, like, caught up, but it was just incredible. And plus she was, like, she was feeling, moment. like, uh, heat, yeah. fire. She just kept going like this fire. and had this look of, like, amazement on her face, like, what is this? It was just, it was really incredible to see just the one full healing and then just like her recovery from what she was born with and I mean just trusting that I mean, God's going to heal her completely. Yeah, it was just good. It was an incredible day. It was mm -hmm. good. Awesome. Okay. Jay! Come on, Dad. Come on! Go down. Go Can you hold it in front of me? All right. Hold it. That's too close. Yeah. <laughs> This would be too close. Oh. Come on, Dad, let's hear it. Look at that. Uh, my favorite part today, I guess it was like, uh, after I gave my testimony and stuff, and then like, okay, what up, Dad? They just want me to hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? <laughs> <laughs> but like, it, was, it, it was cool, like, for people, like, to, uh, I guess they paid attention to the stuff I was seeing. And, yeah. Uh, like afterwards, like people kept coming up to me, want to shake my hand and take pictures. You know what I'm saying? So that was kind of cool. It was, it was really like it was children, and then like a couple mamas came up and was like handing me their babies and stuff. Aww. And, uh, like a movie star. Look yeah, at you. Right. <laughs> so that, that, that was kind of cool. So I was like, I was kind of excited about that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because the stuff I went through, like now they gonna have a better life. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that that's awesome. Cool. You messed me up. I barely was able to start talking. Okay, okay. Vanessa, it's your turn. Oh, my turn. Okay. So, my turn. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> my favorite part was at the end when we were praying for all of the um, local people in their church. Like, I just felt the Holy Spirit encounter <laughs> all of them. And it was just so cool because I kept opening my eyes um, just to look around and see everybody. And they have just all, like, surrendered to God and I mean, speaking in tongues, like, putting their hands up, singing as loud as they can, and it was just, it was too much. I started to cry, um, but it was awesome because um, we worked really hard, and now they have somewhere to worship, and they can bring all their friends and their family there, too, now, and um, the look on the, the family's face, um, like, the woman was walking up, and she just bursted into tears. She was so happy because she couldn't believe it, how much work we had done. So that was, that was my favorite part. That's awesome. What up? What? Uh, oh. Mine was actually the same. Yeah. Mine was actually the same. The, the thing at the end. All I know, 
I don't know how that got started because I kind of came in late. All I know is I went from like being on the roof and almost falling <laughs> to like prophesying over people in like 30 seconds. It was really interesting. Um, but we walked. When I walked up, there were two guys that really caught my eye. Two young guys. They were probably they, they might have been our age or a little bit older. Just a little bit older though. Um, and they just kept sticking in my mind for some reason. So we just went and laid hands on them and prayed for them. And they were just wrecked by the Holy Spirit essentially. But I just kept getting like visions of what I saw. This one particular guy. I cannot remember his name. It's driving me nuts. But I just saw him basically speaking in front of thousands of people. Wow, just like I don't know what he was saying. I just saw him speaking up there. And so it was cool because another person um, came up and was just basically prophesying that you need to open to the guy and say you need to open your mouth. You're not going to change your generation without speaking. Um, wow. So just in that moment, we were both praying over them. And, uh, I don't know, I have a real, really big heart for like my generation of men and these guys were just rock stars of that and I was just really awesome. excited to yeah. be a part of that. Wow. People were falling all out and all that stuff, so it was interesting. Awesome. <laughs> it was yeah. Emily, what was your favorite part of the day? My favorite part was seeing all of you all step out Oh, I especially loved when I pushed Chase in front of everybody <laughs> to share his testimony. And he kept looking back at me like I was crazy <laughs> or he was going to punch me. <laughs> but he did a really good job and I'm sure really he's glad did. that he did it. And also just to see you, Javon, and oh, Vanessa just just loving on those people at the very end and crying with them. <laughs> and that was just precious. That was, that was my favorite times. You, sir? Eric. I would have to say that I really love the fact, I, I laughed actually that uh, our team was the only team giving testimonies. He's like, you, 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 you. And he just kept on grat like we didn't really volunteer necessarily. Like <laughs> he just, it just so happened he picked all Dallas people. I was yeah. like, wow, well this is our, our time to shine I suppose. And, and it was just so great being able to jump out there on the first day and uh, you know, just, just see people uh, uh, testifying of God's goodness and then praying for people and you know I'm even enjoying this this might be one of my favorite part just hearing from you guys and just hearing how God's impacting everybody in a different way so yeah yeah God awesome. Awesome.